The story that proves just how, how extraordinarily strong, though, the bond mm -hmm. is between people and their pets. Here. My favorite story of the day. An Indiana woman so relieved tonight that her dog was found right here in the valley. And Corey Rangel has the story. Nothing short of a miracle. Five years and nearly 2,000 miles. Not enough to keep Jennifer Kozan from finding her lost dog, Sasha. I never thought I was ever going to see her again. You know, I thought about her all of the time. I always wondered about her. I wondered what happened to her. You know, I still have all of our pictures because she was a part of our family. The Rottweiler went missing from Jennifer's home back in 2008. As the weeks, months, and years went by, Jennifer had no idea what happened to her dog until she got a call from the Humane Society a few weeks ago saying someone turned Sasha in. I don't know where she's been or who she's been with or, you know, what she's been through. I just hope that, you know, whoever had her gave her a good life. Sasha is now back home thanks to a microchip the Humane Society used to find Jennifer. This is an awesome outcome. This is how it should work, no matter if it's, you know, 10, 15 states away. They've been over backwards for me to hold on to her so we could get her picked up so we could get her home. I have no words to, you know, express my gratitude. For now, Jennifer is enjoying having Sasha back in her arms and promises to keep her on a short leash. I feel like I didn't do enough to protect her when she was with me. And now it's kind of like, you know, here's our second chance to make that Right. Corey Rangel, ABC 15 News. Good for them. The Nationwide Animal Rescue and Relocation Group also helped out and got volunteers from all across the country to help drive the dog from Phoenix to Indiana. Yeah, incredible. It took eight days and 17 different drivers to help make it happen. That's the incredible part, although yeah. the dog is going.